Tonight, we have learned a third school has now canceled classes this week following a massive norovirus outbreak in Yolo County. It is a virus. It can happen at any time, and especially in close proximity. 3,300 students and faculty members across several school districts have now become sick in this outbreak. Well, now Tafoya and Dingle Elementary Schools have announced that they will close Friday. Cesar Chavez Community School will be closed both tomorrow and Friday. And CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live in Woodland with the very latest for us tonight, Jen. Sam and Adrian here at Tafoya Elementary alone, 22 absences. And that was just yesterday. I'm told that's a consistent number, and it's happening over the last three weeks. So they're hoping that this cleanup will help change that. I know he's excited that he doesn't have to go to school on Friday. It's now a four day weekend for students at Dingle, Tafoya, and Chavez, but it's no holiday for the district that needs an extra day to clean. We have crews coming in uh, not only on Thursday evening, but also Friday to do all the hard surfaces. And then we're going to have crews come in over the weekend. They're actually going to do some power washing. Despite our efforts of cleaning, messaging, taking breaks over the weekend, we still continue to see a climb. Well, the school will be sanitized, public officials are concerned it will spread even more over Memorial Day. Everyone says it's like the first day, first weekend of summer, and they want to get together, have barbecues, get outside, and it's going to be hard. We have to make sure that they get rid of it because it's just going to keep going and keep going. Parents feel the district is doing the right thing. Candace McCormick's 11 year old says the viral outbreak is also changing students' habits. After every recess, we have to wash our hands. We go straight to the bathroom and wash our hands. But still, kids are getting sick. How much of an impact will all these absences have on the school finances? Our funding is driven by um, attendance. However, uh, the state does provide an opportunity for us to apply for a waiver, and we will be seeking to see if we qualify for that. Parents want these extra efforts to help wipe out the virus. And hopefully, come Tuesday after Memorial Day, they'll be good to go. And the district is confident that those four days will be enough for them to get this place clean and the other elementary school and as well as that community school. I'm told that after Memorial Day, those kids should come back as long as they're not sick and stay home for 48 hours if they are. Well, you certainly understand why parents and staff there are so concerned. Let's hope they can get this cleaned up. Jen, thanks so much for that live report.